Anna Yee here in Bloomington at Guardian Headache and Pain Management Institute. And tonight I'm joined by Dr. Benjamin Tamarazzi. Hello. Hello. Well, you. last month we talked about this really fancy word, neuromodulation, which basically means pain control. And today we're going to talk about how that applies to headaches, severe headaches, chronic head pain, and doctor is going to tell us all about that today. So um, neuromodulation, just briefly explain what that means again and how it works. Uh, and the neuromodulation uh, technology and science basically is try to take advantage of the normal flexibility and plasticity of the nervous system with the intention to change the beha behavior of the nerves to control the pain. And so this can be applied to a variety of painful conditions such as headaches or back pain uh, and other painful conditions. Okay. We're talking about, this isn't just Tylenol. It's obviously you can use either medicines mm -hmm. or something a little bit more... Mm -hmm. I guess uh, specialty wise, specialty wise, which is electrodes. Sure. Yeah, so um, talk about how that works. Sure, as you mentioned, we can control the pain with specific medications to alter mm -hmm. the level of neurotransmitters in the brain. But uh, for the purpose of this discussion, uh, we're talking about neuromodulation specifically delivered using this technology. These are electrodes that are placed near the nerves. We have a very scientific basis for this, and that is a gate control theory of pain, which basically it means that if we were to stimulate specific nerves, we can close the doors to the incoming traffic of the painful signals. So this electrode can be placed in the vicinity of different structures where the nerves are located. Just to give you a better idea uh, of why we do this and where we place these leads, the sensation of the face and head is provided by two major structures, two major nerves, nerve um, entities. One would be the trigeminal nerve, which if I may use this diagram really quickly, this is the trigeminal system within a cross-section uh, that is provided here of the brain. Trigeminal system is the fifth cranial nerve, and as you see, it's in kind of in the middle of the brain and then goes down into the upper part of the spinal cord. So the sensation of the most of the front of the face is all through the trigeminal system. The back side of the head is through the upper cervical nerve roots. So the, for instance, the uh, occipital nerves, which are very superficial on the back side of the head, which would be somewhere here, are the branches of the upper cervical nerve roots. So simply placing this electrode against the nerves in this fashion and stimulating it will alter the function of the occipital nerves and therefore we can control some of the headaches which could be occipital neuralgia or even chronic migraine or other very difficult to treat headaches. Right, so you mentioned migraines and severe headaches. Um, any other types of headaches or how would I know if I'm watching this, how would I know if this is something, yeah, maybe I should try this because I've been suffering from these headaches for a long time. Well, I have to emphasize first and foremost that one needs to properly diagnose the headache. Therefore, proper referral to subspecialty clinics is important because we need to know if the patient is a good candidate for this technology. Some of this technology still is at the investigational stages uh, of uh, approval, basically. Uh, some of it is approved, some of it is currently being studied by FDA. There are technologies that are currently available and used in Europe for stimulation of one of these centers for cluster headache. This is called pterygopalatine ganglion. So simply placing a small electrode near this ganglion will cause uh, suppression of severe headaches, of cluster headache. So uh, basically, as you see, the, the uh, indications are really vast, uh, but we need to know which patient really would be a right. good candidate. So your doctor has to refer you to, to see you. Definitely. Okay. Um, and what kind of results have you seen? How <coughs> much of a success rate have you seen? And what have people been saying? Well, neuromodulation, as I said, for headache is, is in its infancy. Right. So it is just coming uh, in line with the neuromodulation that is used for a long, has been used for a long time for back pain or peripheral neuropathy. Some of it is still being investigated by FDA. Uh, but there are patients who definitely will meet the criteria and we can get the approval to go through these procedures for them. And one would be, for instance, chronic migraine and also occipital neuralgias are the ones that would definitely respond to this technology. Okay, so see your doctor if, you, if you're suffering from chronic head pain. And if you are a candidate, then come see Dr. Okay. Benjamin Tamarazzi. Thank you. All right, thanks so much. My pleasure. All right, we'll put up a slate of information now if you have any questions or if are, you're more interested in neuromodulation and this type of specialty pain treatment. Head to Guardian Headache and Pain Institute at 2203 Eastland Drive, Suite Number 7 in Bloomington. You can also give them a call at 808-1700 or head online to guardianpaininstitute.com. We'll be back with more good company right after this.